Organic Evolution Session 11, the facilitator in this period. I am Dr. Mlelo, undergraduate student at the Mwimbiri University of Health in Aladi Science. Na kwenye kipindi kichopita, kwenye kipindi kichopita, tuli, tuliko naangalia kusu evidence of organic evolution. Kwa tuendele, kwanza kabla tujiana kwenye evidence ya tatu tuangalie ni kwenye nisigani fossils in a support evolution. Uh, the study of fossils shows that kwanza moja, organisms do not remain fixed. Kwa sabi tumesema pale nyuma kwa mba, organisms walionyesha kama fossils zao zinabadilika with time. So the study of fossils inoyesha organisms do not remain fixed. They rather change through time from simple to complex. The fossils of simple organisms are found in the deeper layer of the sedimentary rocks, while those of the complex form are found in the upper layer of the recent rocks. Lakini ya pili, the most recent fossil shows similarity with the existed form of life, where the older fossil shows similarity with the extinct form of life. Kwa zile most recent yani fossil ambazo ni zamda mfupi, za saivi, saivi, zinawesha kama vile zinafarana na organizmu ambao anaishi. Lakini tatu, evolution and life of an organism can be, uh, can be reconstructed. Kwa mba nozo ka, uka, uka weka picha ya. Lakini, uh, evidence ya tatu ni evidence from comparative anatomy or morphology. Anatomy ni muundo, muundo, anatomy, the study of body structure. So comparative anatomy or comparative morphology ni mfanano wa muundo. Morphology is muundo, lakini anatomy ni study of the uh, the body structures. So anatomy is the study of body organs or structures. When the body structures of many organisms are compared, unakujo gundua organism wanafanana. Hali kumfano, wewe unavidole, una mkono nye video vitano, nyani ana mkono nye video vitano, kuku nae, yani ni wengi, yani wengi, unakuta vidole vitano, vidole vitano, yu tunaita pentadactyl limbs, pentadactyl limbs, manake ni mgu ambao una vidole vitano. Kwa nini vidole vitano? Manake lazima, lazima watu kwa lifanana kwa likutuka. So when the body structures of many organisms are compared, it is found that they show a certain patterns of similarity. For example, four limbs of all vertebrates such as man, huale, man ni human being, huale ni, ni uyu ni nyangumi, hozi, uyu ni, ni, ni falasi, afuna bati, ambaye ni popo, kuna goti, ambaye ni mbuzi, and bed, a homologous. Homologous manaki wanafanana. Homo means same. So, they have similar pattern of bone arrangement, but perform different function. Perform different function. These are presented to homologous structures. Homologous structures. They are structures which have the same, uh, the same function, but perform different function. They have the same arrangement or the same building or the same structure. Any mundo wake wanafana lakini zinafanya kazi tofu. The volume of man are used for handling things, kushika vitu. And that of wale, ile, ule wa nyangumi, for swimming, kwa jia kwa gerea. Hose, ambaye ni falas, anatumia kutemberea. But, yani popo, anatumia for flying. Goat, anatumia kwa jia kutemberea, yani mbuzi. And beds for flying. Pia ndege, anatumia for flying. Similarity in the bony arrangement suggests that such organism had the common ascentral ene had the common origin. Yeye inaonyesha kwamba organism lazima walikuwa wanafanana kwenye origin. Also the basic structure of the flower is the same in all angiospermophytes. Basic structure ya ua, muundo wa ua unafanana kwenye all angiospermophytes. There is a close similarity in the mouth parts of all insects etc. Kwa hiyo vitu vitu ni vingi ambavyo vinafanana. The difference in function they perform is due to organic evolution. Kwamba hiyo inatokana kwamba baadhi ya organism wana wanakuwa na yani baadhi ya organism wanakuwa na baadhi ya organism wanaishi kwenye mazingira ambao wanataka wafanye iki na wengine wanaishi kwenye mazingira ambao wanataka wafanye. Kwa ndio maana they perform different function. Kwa hiyo ni adaptation to organic evolution. Organism wanakuwa na undergo adaptation. Kwa hiyo unaweza kuona hapo diagram, unaweza kuona diagram jinsi gani ambavyo structures zinafanana. Ile arrangement ya bones tunayozungumzia ndio hiyo. Unaona bone A, bone B, bone C, bone D. Then bone nyingine ziko zinaendelea. 
boni A, boni B, boni C. So you see, hiyo ni falling tunako tuna tuna hapa ambayo ni humulus. Tuna hapa ambayo ni humulus. Then tunako tuna ulna pamoja na radius. Katika hizo boni mbili C na B tunako na ulna na radius. Kuna kuta hii arrangement bado iko hapo. Iko ni basic. Hapo A yani humulus uh, ulna na radius. Humulus ulna. Huyu ni hose, huyu ni bati. Ah uh, huyu ni human huyu ni wale. Kuna kuta Unaona jinsi gani ambavyo vinafanana vinafanana tu hiyo ni pentadactyl limb kwa arrangement yenyewe ndio hii hapa kwamba a b c humulus radius arna d is open couples couples after couple tuna nini tuna e metacarpals na metacarpals na digits kwa beds nao nakuta nao kuna a bone humulus Uh, then kuna radius kuna arna kuna hizo hapo couples and then metacarpals so the figure above show a comparison of structure of forelimbs skeleton of several vertebrates to illustrate what is meant by homologous structure and this is what they call the pentadactyl limbs pentadactyl all of these if you count them they have five limbs five digits pentadactyl 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 uh, So hiyo hiyo ndo ambao unaweza kuona hapo lakini hapa japo sio zote zina pentadactyl hapa ni sana sana ni arrangement from arna to to the metacarpals So what are the homologous structure? Homologous structure ni zile structure ambazo zina building inayofanana yani muundo wake anafanana So they have the same origin but they perform different functions These are body parts or structure of different organisms that have the same construction same construction or origin but perform different rules. Kwa nini zina perform different rules it is because of divergent evolution or adaptive radiation yani organism walivyokuwa wanataka ku adapt kwenye environment wakalazimika kufanyia kazi mbalimbali kwa mfano uh, nyangumi alazimika mkono wake anatumia kuogelea human being awe anatumia kufanyia vitu kuandikia kushika vitu So the example is the pentadactyl limbs pentadactyl limbs the definition of homology structure we unajua uh, body parts are both in the same origin but perform different rules na pia unajua na example mfano ni pentadactyl limbs yani five fingered limbs of vertebrates the construction is similar in all classes but due to adaptive radiation similar part adapted to perform different rules you know na adaptive radiations The limbs have, have apparent different structures from the basic ones. These structures are amplified by the flippers of wale for swimming and the wings of bird for flying. Kwa unaona kwa mfano wale wenyewe wanakuwa na nini? Flippers tunazita flippers. Kwa wao ndo kama mikono yao four limbs zao kwa ajili ya kuogelea. Wakati ndege tunakuwa tunaita nini? Mabawa wings. Kwa hiyo hiyo maana yake ni difference imetokana tu na nini function ambazo zina perform lakini structure zake construction inafanana the presence of homologous organs implies a common central origin at some time during the evolution history it is believed that organisms sharing homologous organs are descendant of the same ancestral that became adapted to different mode of life kwa hiyo organism ambao wanakuwa na wana wanakuwa wana, wana, wana Parabolia structure inaaminika kwamba ana origin yao inafanana. So each of them evolved in to an independent species. The various organs become modified to suit the way of life of new species. This is called divergent evolution or adaptive radiation. Why it is called divergent? Divergent maana kina kama kitu kinatoka sehemu moja baadaye kina spread. Kina spread. Ku diverge, diverge hiyo tunaitumia sana kwenye right kwamba diverge light na diverge kwa vile unamulika torch mwanga unasambaa so they had the same origin but they diverged into different uh, different adaptations according to their environments kwa hiyo hiyo ndo concept ya homologous pia tuna structure nyingine ambazo zinaitwa analogous kwenye analogous structures zenyewe zinakuwa ni structures of different organism na sio tu structures of different organism 
pia zina different construction yani origin yake na tofauti yake lakini zina perform the same function the same function and function yake ni ile so analogous structure these are structures ukumbuke tu kwenye kwenye homologous they are similar so they have similar contraction call construction so these are structures which have different origin but perform similar function it is also observed that different organisms may possess organs or structures which have different structural plan or origin but performing similar function kwa hiyo hiyo hapo inamaanisha nini inamaanisha kwamba basi evolution ndio inatokea kwa maana organism kama ungekuwa toka walivyozaliwa ndo wanaishi vile vile basi wasingeweza kuperform the same function with different body parts analogous structure therefore suggests that organism possess possessing possessing them of different set origin only evolution or adaptation to the environment had made them to perform similar functions so evolution which operates in organisms possessing different structures living in a similar environment and such structure modified to perform similar function is called convergent manake organism wana origin tofauti wame converge wame kuja kutana kwa the same function example for analogous structure they are wings of birds and that of insect or pro- proboscis proboscis of butterfly and that of elephant kwa hiyo unakuta kwamba proboscis of butterfly anatumia anatumika kwa ajili ya kufyonza vitu na elephant nayo anatumia ule mkonge wake kufyonza vitu but they have different origin au kiangalia mabao ya ndege pamoja na insect they have different origin kwa sababu hata ukiangalia construction zake za tofautiana lakini aina ya tatu ya structure hapo kwenye comparative anatomy tuna vestigio vestigio ni zile structure ambazo zilipoteza kazi during the process of evolution so a vestigio structure of an organism that body part that has lost its function in cause of evolution kwa organism ile ilikuwa inaandaa evolution yenyewe ikapoteza kazi yake kwa hiyo kajikuta ime, ime remain haina kazi it is believed that the organs were present and full functional in the acetro organisms but we are selected against as the animals became adapted to different mode of life however those structures that are vestigial in some organisms have useful rules in others kwa hiyo vestigial structure anaweza kawa ni kwa mnyama mmoja au kwa mnyama mwingine asio vestigial kwa example for example is an appendix which is vestigial in human has useful rules in rabbits kwa hiyo kwa rabbits appendix ina kazi lakini kwa human being ni vestigial ina kazi other examples of vestigial organ in human body include coccyx coccyx ambayo ni ni kama tail vestigial tail yani huko ambako inaishia vertebral column pia tuna body hair uh, tuna body hair ambazo ni nyere tuna nictitating membrane of the eye and the muscle that move the ear so muscle that move the ear most of time it is kio huwa remove ko zinatulia tu pale zinatulia unaweza kuona hapo the following table show the vestigial organ the man and their function in other animals where they are well developed kwa hiyo kwa mfano vestigial organ si kama na appendix well developed in herbivores such as rabbits and rats and hose they perform the part of the digestive canal they form part of the digestive canal where digestion of cells takes place like in human being they can digest cells so manake ndo maana appendix ina kazi ya muscles well developed in the function in many mammals where they are used to move ears in many directions lakini kwa 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 human being hiyo haifanyiki body hairs well developed in most of the other mammals where it is used for insulation against low temperature in man this function has been taken over by clothes cause kwa sababu tunavaa nguo ndio maana hamna haja ya kuwa na body hairs ndio maana ukiangalia almost all mammals achana human being kwa hiyo maana yake baada ya kuwa tunavaa nguo body hairs zilipoteza function ndio maana kwenye history of mwani mnasoma vile vitu vya zincha tropas mnaona wale organism wa mwanzo wao walikuwa na nini wana body hairs nyingi lakini after evolution of clothes dipamba body hairs 
zikaja ni vestigio ukumbuke hea zinazozungumziwa sio za kichwani hea ziko maana ya nywele yani binadamu alikuwa na nywele mwili mzima but they are vestigio pia tuna cogisio vertebra where they develop in many mammals where they form the skeleton of the tail lakini kwa sababu human being hana tail so it is vestigio pia ni dictating membrane where developed in beds and fish where it can move over the eye and act as third eye kwa hiyo hiyo ni dictating membrane ina ina act kama third eye ina ina move inatembeza inatembeza inatembea juu ya jicho kwa hiyo hivyo ndivyo ambavyo comparative comparative anatomy ipo na comparative anatomy naishia hapo comparative anatomy au morphology na kipindi kijacho tutaangalia evidence nyingine ambayo itakuwa ni evidence and thank you everybody subscribe the channel share the link uh, click the link below to join my telegram group kama una telegram you download to play store uh, unganisha account kama unaunganisha whatsapp join your group kwa ajili ya discussion thank you everybody nice studies